Hola, in today's video, I am answering a viewer's question. So thank you so much, Kevin Leslie 8407. So the question is, can you explain how I changed the font size in the email template footers? I want our company disclaimer right above our email address to be really small font, but I cannot figure this out. Let's answer his question. So let's go to our dashboard and let's head over to our settings in Shopify. And then we're going to go into our notifications, right? And this is what we were referring to. So let's start off with the order confirmation. Okay. So if we can see here, this is the a sample of the order confirmation currently set. And what I believe they want is to have the disclaimer right up here, right above the email here. Okay. So the company disclaimer, and that could be what I'm kind of thinking is company disclaimer, such as the information is for educational purposes. You know, we are not doctors, lawyers, you know, those kinds of disclaimers. What you can do is edit the code here, and then we're going to scroll all the way down to that particular section, which is all the way at the bottom. And here it is. See if you have any questions. So that is the line where we want to enter. And so the email template are set up in tables, right? So this is the table here. So we want to stay within the table and we're actually, we're just going to add the disclaimer right above that line. Okay. So the easiest way to do this, let's go ahead and just copy and paste this here right there. All right. So that gives us a start and the next piece of code we'll add is go ahead and click the space and we're going to add this here. So it's style equals the font size and we're going to do a font 14. We normally technically don't want to go smaller than the 14. So we're going to start off with 14 and if it's still too big, we can go ahead and make it a smaller font. Although I don't really suggest it, um, just for accessibility purposes. Okay. All right. So now what we'll do is enter the disclaimer and how you would do that is just like if you take this as your example right here, you have the greater than sign and then enter the disclaimer information that you want to enter for your business for tutorial purposes here. I'm just going to enter your disclaimer here. Okay. And then we're going to close it all up just like it is here, right? So we're going to have the less than sign slash paragraph. So we're just going to go ahead and copy and paste that there. Okay. So you're going to enter it there. So whatever your disclaimer is, is usually a paragraph long, but same process. Let's go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and preview. So now we come all the way to the bottom and there is the disclaimer. Okay. Now, as you can see, the disclaimer is the same size as this one here. So if you want to make it smaller, that's not a problem. You can just go ahead and make that instead of a 10, you can make that a 12 and uh, play around with that font size until you get it to where you want it to be. Okay. Now, as you see, I copied and pasted the disclaimer subtext. It's just for the styling purposes for the class. So that's just, you know, coding talk. You can take that away if you'd like. And what will happen would be is that the style of the font will be just like the rest of the email. And I'll show you that in just a moment here. So here we go. So if we take away that style. You see that it changes the text. So it's going to be that same dark gray as it is up here versus before it was like that lighter shade of gray. Okay. So that's completely up to you how you want that to show up. Once you're done, you can send yourself a test email and you can see how it all looks because this test email will show you exactly what your customers are going to see. All right. That is all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you want to learn how to customize your email notifications with your brand colors and your brand tone, go ahead and check out this video next until next time, my friends. Adios.